Hey Sugarboo, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel, Putting Up With The Pompons. I am Shantae, the mother of the three beautiful Pompon sisters. Here I have the oldest, Kalia, here. So before we go any further, let me not forget to remind you to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey friend, hope you are being blessed and safe as always always so let's go ahead and get straight into it so Kalia was rocking these braids for the past a week and a half okay I had to take a break from doing the girl's hair as including doing my own hair plus the beauty room was under renovation so there was no doing hair for about a week so she was rocking these braids and I finally got around to doing her hair so um her hair is dry and it got some lint it's very frizzy and it definitely needs some moisturizing so I'm going in with the Maya Organics Curl Refreshing Spray I love Love this spray spray is very lightweight especially if i don't want to go in with just some plain old water and then i don't want to have a whole bunch of product build up either because her hair is dirty and it's old and it's in need of a wash but instead of washing i decided to style it so i decided to style it in bubble braids matter of fact that became the theme for the hairstyles for the girls this week because bubble braids are just so easy and so cute but i didn't want to just do some plain ones i wanted to kind of add like some little accents in there too so i made it harder on myself pretty much by going in with beads like in between each little bubble on her braid now you know sounds simple enough as long as your beads are you know are big enough to hold the thickness of Kalia's hair if your child has thin or fine hair then you probably won't have this issue but that was the issue I ran into with trying to style these beads onto her hair so her hair is already dry I just brushed it out which made it even more bigger probably if it was wet it probably would have been a little bit easier to do but you know just made it you know difficult on myself it is what it is you live and you learn so yeah if you are going to try this style i definitely recommend doing it on already wet hair or at least damp hair don't do it on dry hair like i did because you'll be fighting with the bee trying to get it to push up the shaft of her hair I started out doing uh, six beads and then i realized that that was just way too much and it was taking way too long so i decided to do five but this was the first braid that I did so I did six on this one and then I twisted the ends and uh, added two more beads at the end and rub those, rubber band those together so it kind of added more weight to the end and the beads wouldn't be flying around um yeah this was a difficult style I think if I made my boxes a little bit smaller it probably would have helped with trying to get the beads on there um and it's kind of hard to find big beads like as far as like circumference wise to kind of fit because these were the only ones I had on hand and I didn't want to go to the store and pick up some new ones just for this style so you know I just it, it it took some tweaking with for me to realize how to to get it to work but the end results are going to be amazing and that you know that's all that matters right my original idea was to do the whole head with bubble braids but after I got finished with the first half of fighting with these beads to get them on, I, I was tired. I was done with it. It was bedtime. So this is it. <laughs> this is this is where I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm drawing the line here. Plus, I also ran out of beads. And I didn't know how it was going to look with only having one half of her head with beads in the back half. It probably wouldn't have looked bad. It probably wouldn't have. So I decided to just take out the remainder of the braids. And as you can see, they are looking crusty dusty you know tired honey tired but I took those out cleaned out as much lint as I could she only wore the style for maybe two days um because it like I said it was time for her to get it washed anyway I went back in with the curl refreshing spray just to kind of help add some more moisture and shine because it was looking dull dull back there and you know played around with it fluffed it up and she is done I I'm done with this okay I probably will revisit this with more beads and you know hopefully some bigger ones to kind of help with this all right let's go ahead and move on to the middle child Kaylani. so Kaylani is freshly washed we we did attempt to wash Kaylani's hair so this is what she's working with and I'm going to go in first starting out with a ear to ear part going across the crown right atop of the head and we're gonna go ahead and style the first half first I'm going in with my edge effect conditioning gel i love this gel i talk about it all the time in every single freaking tutorial with the girls it smells good 
and it helps with making these clean neat parts for the girls great edge control love it love it very and it's not like super expensive and you get a lot for your money okay love it I'm styling the top half of her hair into a simple ponytail and then we're going to start working on the back to create this bubble braid. So if you're not a great corn roller, this is a great alternative to do if you're not the best braider. So for the back, we're going to split that in half straight down the middle and then I'm adding some little hair bows to kind of accent the top half you know cute little bobbles that I got off of Amazon um, and then we're going to create this bubble braid as you can see this nice little braid going down the back of her head so I start off with four individual parts already rubber band off and then we're gonna start just connecting the dots very simple fluff it out just a little bit so you can create this nice little bubble effect with the braid and just continue down now I use rubber bands as my foundation to hold the ponytails together and then I go in with the cute little ponytail holder for, you know, decoration, for decor, you know, for a little bit of pizzazz. All right. And then we're just going to continue this all down until we get to the end. And then we're going to style her gorgeous curls. All right, now to style Kehlani's curls at the end because I want her curls to stay out and look cute and popping. I'm going in with some water. I have to re-wet her hair, get it nice and soaked. And then I'm gonna go in with the Cream of Nature Detangle by the Pure Honey line. I love this stuff. It makes her hair super soft. It helps with detangling. And then I'm gonna go in with a Boar Bristle brush. I purchased this one off of Amazon. And I'm just going in with each individual strand and kind of just, you know, just brushing it through so it kind of smooths it out and kind of spiral her curls then I bring it all up together and just squish it in like you'll hear it just squishing the water in the product just kind of squishing in together I did diffuse her hair off camera before I sent her to bed and that is it for this style right here super cute and simple and I love the bobbles now we're moving on to baby girl Callista, the youngest pom-pom sister so here she is with her hair freshly washed as well it did air dry but I just love how her natural curls look air dried super cute so anyways I'm starting off with a middle part starting at the very top of the forehead and going all the way straight back to the nape of the neck and then I wanted to do like a triangle part in the front using my shine effect conditioning gel I'm doing a diagonal part and I clean it up to make it look crisp and sharp because I know I love a clean part and I go back over it and smooth it out so we have these two ponytails in the back that we're gonna create and then we have this triangle part in the front and we're gonna create two uh, bubble braids out of this style so I'm gonna go ahead and ponytail that front piece right there our little triangle piece I'm then going to create create two braids out of that triangle part one braid of course is going to go to one ponytail and the other to the next so those same bobbles that we used on Kehlani earlier I had a little bit left remaining I thought they were super cute so I decided to use them on Boo's hair as well and they are totally adorable so again I'm going in using a regular rubber band as my foundation and then I go in with the hair ties as a, a decorative piece now instead of the hair ties for this one I decided to use these cute adorable unicorn bows that I also purchased off of Amazon yes yes I know Amazon everything so going in just creating these cute adorable bubbles going down the shaft of her hair fluffing it out to create that bubble effect and then tying it off using these uh, hair ties and there we have it I did this three times so she'll have three hair ties and once I get to the bottom I kind of you know fold it into uh, the hair ties so it's not just kind of just hanging out I did and want her ends to kind of be out there just you know I, I kind of I wanted to tuck those away And that is it for the three hairstyles for the girls this past week. Thank you guys for joining us on another hair tutorial. We will see y'all in another one. Be blessed and be safe.